Hello there ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? I'm Bryn, I'm the Game Survivor and welcome to Kerbal Space Program Rocket Test Facility. Yes, that's right, uh, you guys were requesting a Kerbal Space Program playthrough, so that's what I'm bringing you guys. Uh, but this one's a little bit different in that I won't be trying to get to the moon or anything, I'm going to be testing out outlandish and crazy rockets for you guys, uh, seeing how they fly or don't fly. <laughs> Uh, in the case of this rocket, this is one that's not going to fly. It's actually not a rocket at all. It's just a giant wheel. I want to I want to test the structural integrity of Kerbal Space Program's rocket parts to see if we can build a giant wheel that can roll around the space center. Uh, yeah, so wish me luck. I'll build the first prototype and we'll see how that goes. All right, here we go. Uh, th this is the the prototype design. Uh, it's got a bunch of reaction wheels, and this is the actual wheel component itself. I do not expect this to work. <laughs> Let's give it a crack, though. Uh, I'll just add some uh, structural stabilizers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, okay. Uh, that's really not working out. Let's go one there and one on the other side as well. Uh, yep, there we go. All right, cool beans. Let's give this a crack. Oh, I'll we'll give it a name. Uh, wheel Prototype A1. Let's do it. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's see if this thing flies. Oh, well, works. That <laughs> uh, seems reasonably stable. Wow. It seems to be actually... It's, it's kind of working? Kind of... No, okay. Well, it was worth a crack. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first prototype. Uh, back to the drawing board, I guess. So the problem with that one is that it just simply wasn't stable, structurally stable enough, and it just completely fell apart. So I need to do something to make it a bit more stable. Uh, hmm, upscaling might be a good idea, but for now I'm just going to keep with this sort of design. Uh, we can upsize a bit later on if we need to. Alright, there we go. I've added some wings and some uh, struts here. Uh, mm, again, I don't really expect this to fly, but we'll see. Yeah, I think the canards might just overbalance it, but we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Alright, let's do this. Come on. Let's see. Oh, I should actually really be going the other way. Oh, no, I'm... Oh, okay. Apparently I can't stop or it just, just doesn't work. Alright, let's revert that to launch. Hmm, that didn't really work out. Right, let's try again, shall we? Okay, here we go. This is the way I need to be going. I need to keep that momentum. Here we go, going down the ramp. Slow it down so it doesn't explode again. Wow, it's actually it's working all right. Look at that. Now it's slowing down a fair bit though for some reason, despite the fact it's going downhill. It should be, should be, doing, should be speeding up. Maybe I need to add some RCS thrusters to it or something. Oh no 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 no! It's overbalancing. Come on. Oh. So close. <laughs> uh, nope, it's completely stuck. Alright, I need to add some thrusters to it, I think. So let's do that now. Alright, there we go. I've added a bunch of RCS thrusters onto uh, the rim of the wheel here and some RCS fuel in the middle. I've glitched it in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using entirely stock parts. Uh, you'll notice, actually, uh, I have got some non-stock parts here, but I'm not using them. I'm only using stock parts. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I have actually managed to cheat a little bit there accidentally. But that's alright. <laughs> alright, prototype A3. Let's get this thing on the launch pad. Alright, R to ac activate RCS. Wow, it's moving so much faster. Hasn't got a lot of grip, though. It is spinning a fair bit. Oh, oop, 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 oop. No, no, it's overbalanced. Maybe I should have had uh, SAS on. Let's try that again. I'll turn SAS on this time to keep us a little bit more steady. Alright, RCS. Oh. No, nope, wrong way. There we go. That's the right way. Alright, uh, SAS is now on. Should keep us a little bit more steady. Oh, but I'm out of fuel already. Holy shit. That did not take long. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm going to have to add some more fuel then, I think probably to the rim of the wheel, uh, like up here. I'll do that right now. Well, it's starting to look like a bit of an unbalanced nightmare now, but <laughs> to be honest, 
Uh, it was going to be an unbalanced nightmare right from the start. All right, I've added a bunch of new RCS fuel on the few surfaces I have remaining. Uh, prototype A4. Let's test it, shall we? All right, RCS. Uh, oh, oh, I wasn't quick enough, evidently. All right, I was too quick to turn. <laughs> wasn't quick enough to turn on the RCS and SAS. I have to do that a lot faster this time. Uh, all right, here we go. Working. How much fuel do I have? Oh. It's the electric charge! Oh, that's the problem. Oh, I need batteries. It wasn't the fuel, it was the electric charge. Alright, let's try again. I'll add some batteries this time, and maybe even some solar panels to keep this thing rolling. Uh, Alright. Alright, prototype A5. I've added some uh, batteries there, and I've also added two photovoltaic panels uh, and bound them to an action group. I can't really remember which action group and what number I was, I'm supposed to press, but I will. <laughs> let's give it a crack, shall we? See how we go. Alrighty, let's do this. I believe it was number one. No, no, no. I can't remember what action group and how to do action groups. Alright, it is working though. I've still got plenty of charge. And it's not falling apart yet. It's nice and sturdy. Oh, we got a bit of... Oh, no! Oh! Well, back to the drawing board. Alright, that should do it. Let's, let's test this thing out again. And uh, if this doesn't work, we may have to upsize upscale, make a bigger one to make it a bit more sturdy. Alright. Let's do it. Rolling, rolling, once again. God, this thing's an absolute monstrosity. It's quite heavy now. <laughs> that could be also part of the problem, that it's quite heavy and that the, the structure isn't good at holding it up. That's alright. Alright. Well, this is actually... Well, we made it to the bottom of the ramp. That's definitely a first. Oh, I actually managed to turn a little bit. Radio. I think that the the trick to turning is to turning when it's actually on its uh, when it, when it's on the tip of the, one of the one of the little wheel connected bits. Wow, this is actually working quite well. It, we haven't really got a lot of speed, but we're certainly rolling. <laughs> wow, nice. All right, I think we can call this a success. Thumbs up, ten out of ten. Would recommend. Ah, alrighty. Um, I may just oh, 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 okay. There we go. Well, we had it rolling for at least 20 seconds, so I reckon we can call that a success. Thanks for watching, guys. This is uh, the first ep episode of Rocket Test Facility. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below. Let me know if you want to see uh, another episode. I've got another episode recorded. If you want me to put it up, let me know down in the comments below. But until next time, guys, have a good one, and I'll see you later.